Let's do this one. This one mensuration. A sphere of radius r is cut by a plane at a distance of h from its center, thereby breaking the sphere into two different pieces. Right? We have a sphere, cutting it off at a place h from the center, breaking into two different pieces. The cumulative surface area of these two pieces is 25% more than that of the sphere, find h. Bunch of small ideas here. The surface area increases. That is clear because you are cutting off a surface. So we create two surfaces, one on this piece and one on that piece. Two additional new surfaces gets created, surface area increases. How much does it increase by? It increases by 25%. We want to simplify into two questions. What is the increase in surface area? What is the shape that has been created? Increase in surface area is 25%. So what was 4 pi r square should now become 4 pi r square? plus 25% of 4 pi r square or should now become 5 pi r square. Increase in surface area is pi r square. So that is clear. 4 pi r square, 25% of 4 pi r square is one fourth of that. Pi r square gets added. What is the shape? You have a sphere. You cut it off. What shape gets created there? There is a nice little circle that gets created. It is not just one circle. There is a circle on this piece. There is a circle on that, the top piece. Think of it as like a bottom and a lid. There is a circle here and a circle there. So the shapes that created are two circles. Remember, these are two equal circles. They are not equal, then you can't close the shape. This has to match with that exactly. Right? So we have two equal circles that are being created. So think about this. What is the area of one circle? That will be pi r square by 2. The total increase in area is pi r square. This comes from two equal circles. So each circle will have an area of pi r square by 2. Right. We have done all of these inferences. I am going to put them together in a diagram and then think about that. Right. So you cut this off by a plane. This radius is r. This h is what we need to find. Assume this radius of this circle is r1. Now we know area of this circle. Area is pi r square by 2. Which is nothing but pi r1 square this radius square into pi will be the area which is pi r square by 2 or knock off pi r1 equals r by root 2 r1 square is r square by 2 or r1 is r by root 2 we found the radius of that circle that would have been created we still need to find h this is simple this is a 90 degree line this is the radius so h square plus r1 square equals r square or h square plus r square by 2 equals r square h square is r square by 2 h is also r by root 2 or this distance is r by root 2 so if we cut at a distance r by root 2 from center of the sphere by a plane we will get two circles each of area pi r square by 2 therefore resulting in a total increase in area of 25 percent wonderful question because you have to visualize and then do the math the first step is to visualize that what you are cutting off is to you create two circles the two circles put together create pi r square therefore each circle should have a radius less than r somewhat less than r that is clear how much less than r it is r by root 2 now come back to the underlying triangle and then do pythagoras theorem we'll get h is also r by root 2 you're through beautiful question